right, guys. Me doing that saves me from having to edit this video a little bit later, so I turn it on right here. I'm not going to bother editing it. Um, Rob Corbett here. And if you're watching this, you probably already know who I am. If you don't, I'm not going to go into a big introduction because we've got to keep these videos low, being on YouTube and all that stuff. You can head over to Work With Rob. Rob has two B's in it, so workwithrob.com. You can learn it all about why I am qualified to give you some network marketing tips. And I believe I'm doing network marketing tips. i got my subject over there. Um, network marketing tips. I'm going to give you going to give you a good one here today. I'm going to continue to do a, a series on these different tips because there's a whole host of tips that uh, you know I'm not going to try to get ten of them into an eight minute video. I'm going to give you some good meat here, okay? Um, so you can head over there and learn about why I'm qualified to talk to you about this um, because there's a lot of people out there on the internet who um, are putting out training videos. It's easy to do up a video, throw it on YouTube, and I'm an expert. But you want to look into the person, see if they are qualified to tell you. Um, what they're telling you. So I've been there, done it type of deal. So you can learn all about me again at workwithrob.com. So also at the end of this video, stick around because at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a short little little gift, little bonus on a way that you can shoot, shorten, I should say, the journey to the top. Shoot straight to the top uh, in the network marketing industry. Shorten your um, time frame that it's going to take you to get there. Okay, so I'm going to give that to you at the end. All right. Let's get into the tip. Network marketing tip of the day, let's call it. Um, that just kind of came to me now. Maybe that's what I'll start calling these. Network marketing tip of the day. Today what we're going to talk about is your ever-expanding contact list. Now this is huge. This, this is like I'm giving you the one of the most important concepts that you could ever grasp in this industry. I'm giving it to you right out of the gates. The ever-expanding contact list. Now what does that mean? Well here's what most network marketers do is they come into the business, they make a list of everybody they know, uh, or if they're if they're serious to make a list of everybody they know, most people make a list of about five people and then just keep chasing them, beating them over the head and trying to recruit them in. You want to make a list, okay? Now here's what most people do, is they'll call that person in, they'll take out their big pen, here's, here's John, here's Mary, here's Joe, so what do they do? Call up John, John's not interested in big scratch. And then they get on the phone and Mary's not interested in big scratch. Joe, well maybe Joe's interested still, so he's in the business. So that's good. So what did they do? They now scratch these people off their list. Now what's going to happen in this business as you get going is you are going to, if you're serious about this business, you're going to run out of people you know to talk to. So then what? Well, then you've got to go meet new people, um, and you've got to find ways, which I'm going to talk about, of expanding your list, always growing your list of people you know, and there's different ways to do that, and I'll teach you that. You can learn more about that again at my website. However, what the smart network marketer does is they realize that John, who we scratched out here, John was not ready to join the business now, okay? Because whatever reason, I've heard it said before, and it's excellent. I'm not going to spend here and make a clock, but say this is a clock. Uh, you know, six, nine, um, twelve, we'll call it one. Okay? So this is a clock. Everybody in their lives is somewhere on the clock. Okay? So let's say that 12 o'clock, life is fabulous. So John right now, maybe everything is going great. Okay, John just got a new job, John just got a raise, whatever. John's not interested in your little home-based business because everything's going great. So he said, no way. Now, the hands of the clock go around for everybody. Everybody in the world goes around the clock. Things happen. Uh, kids go to university. Um, divorces happen. Bankruptcies happen. People lose jobs. So just because John was at the top right here at 12 o'clock when you called him doesn't mean six months from now, Things haven't changed, and now all of a sudden John, John's sitting in at about 9 o'clock, okay? Or maybe he's at 6 o'clock. Things have changed in John's life significantly, and he would be open to looking at an opportunity. So a smart network marketer brings these people and puts them on a contact management system. I use ACT, A-C-T, ACT. Um, you can use Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft Outlook does it just fine. Um, any way you want to do it, doesn't matter. The point is, six months from now, maybe three, depends how aggressive you are, you're touching John again. Hey, John, listen, man, I know that back six months ago when we spoke about this opportunity, you weren't interested. I just want to touch base, let you know the things are going great with me. See if you're now open to taking a look at the opportunity. John says, no, I'm still not, I'm still not interested. Fabulous. John gets put down for another six months. Going to call him back then. Okay? So... John, but, but, but what's going to happen is some of these people who you've scratched off, if you continue to touch them, 
let them know you're still doing this, let them know you're just checking and see if they're interested, they're going to come back around, and that some of these people you're going to recruit, and a hefty number of them, if you continue to do this. So that's how a professional does it. An amateur scratches them off, never again am I going to talk to John. A professional adds John to the list again six months later. Now, what's happening is your list is never getting smaller, because you're never deleting anybody off, unless, they, unless they're idiots, and they just say, you know what, <laughs> don't call me again, I'm not doing this, okay, give them the big X, they're gone. But most people don't care if you call them up and say, yeah, I'm just checking in, let's, 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 they don't care, they're cool. But, um, so then what's happened is, those people stay on the list, and then as you learn the other techniques of meeting people, um, finding people, you're continually adding to the list, so you always, every single day, you're going to have tens and tens, uh, tens and tens of people to talk to, okay, tons of them. So, there's just, you're, you're never going to have nobody to talk to if you do it this way. If you, if you learn to always put people back into the system and then learn to meet new people, every single day you're going to have prospects to talk to, and that is how you take your business from nothing to the top. That's network marketing tip of the day. Um, let me see. I told you to give you a little bonus. So what's my bonus? Let me look for my eraser here. The bonus is, guys, now, this is a warning. Here's a warning. If you're happy where you're at with your company, stay there. Okay, if things are going great, if you just love everybody, love the people, if you're making money and you know your business is booming, stay there, don't pay any attention to this. This is for people who are frustrated and are not hitting the top yet. I haven't gotten there. I was there, I've struggled in this business, I found it what it takes to make it, okay? I call it the C T P and my pen's dying. C T P. Three things that need to be in place if you want to. Get to the top fast. If you want to get out of your day job and be making a full-time income in network marketing within the next one to two years, this is what needs to happen. Now, you can make it in any company if you just want to beat it, beat it, and beat it, and just work and work and work and work. You know, 10, 5, 10, 15 years from now, you can make it in any company. If you want to get there in the next year to two years, these three things need to be in place. You probably can't even see it on the video because my silly pen is dying. CTP. C stands for company. Now what do I mean by company? I'm not banging the drums on the company. What I'm getting at with the company, obviously all the things need to be in place that would anyone with common sense understands. Got to be a good company, got to be solid, all that jazz. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the age of the company. You want to be with a company that is anywhere from three to about ten years old. Okay? Reason why any younger than three, you know, don't buy into this. We're going to do the big launch. We're going to do the launch. Problem with launch is it means it's a new company. It's not proven. It's not st It's not stable. It's a good chance it's going to go out of business. 90% of all new business go out of business. So stay away from the end of the three. Anything older than 10, market saturated. Three to 10, this is where the big growth happens. This is where you can really make some things happen. This is where I achieved my success in this industry. It was when my first success was when the company was um, a new company and we just, we just ran with the thing. Okay. Um, next is the T, stands for team. You want to be with teams that have leaders and systems in place that are going to teach you things. They, you want to be with people who have different options because you can't put a square peg into a round hole. I mean, if you're on a team that says, you we only do it this way, and or even more so with a team that's not showing you how to do it, terrible. You want to be with a team that has different ways and different means and different systems in place that you can use to become successful. And P, here's the biggie. You want to have a product. P stands for product. Can't see it. I'm still pointing at it. It's okay. P stands for product. You want to have a product that people already use before they get into the business. If you're with a company that has a product that is awesome, but you've got to change people's mindsets. If they're not using it now, it's a terrible hard slug. Here's why. First, you've got to convince them to come into the business. You've got to show them all this stuff. And then they've got to figure out if they can afford it because now they've got this auto ship that they never spent this money on that product ever before. Now they've got to find that money to pay for it. If you have a product that people already get, if they, if they already use and they say, yeah, I use that already, you give it to them at the same price, cheaper or comparable, so that there's no difference in their monthly budget, and it's higher quality product, now you're onto something serious. Because more people get it. You don't have to try to explain, oh, I got this fancy product that does all this stuff, makes your hair grow, all this crazy stuff. They already get it, okay? Um, second, and, and then what happens is it, it, they are you're spending the money, so they don't have to spend any different money. So now all that money is just being funneled into your business. That's the magic, guys. If you want to find out more about that, you head over to Work With Rob. And this is my, this is my shameless pitch 
I am always looking for leaders who are serious. I don't work with just anybody. It's got to be somebody who's going for it. If you are, I've got the company that I've been around this industry, and it has all the things in place that anyone who's serious can have success. Keyword was serious. Work with Rob.com. Two B's and Rob, come on over. You can contact me. We'll have a chat. See you on the next tip. Have a great day. Coming back, turn this off.